Yeah, Chris and Mike, 23-year-old Eugene Nance was shot right in broad daylight in this area where people routinely wait for the bus. And tonight, the recent violence has some people on edge. You have no idea. Just keep my eyes open. <laughs> this is downtown. You know, it's, it's not supposed to be going on down here, you know? Several people telling Pittsburgh's Action News 4 the recent violence has prompted them to be more vigilant. You're still seeing fights. You're still seeing, uh, obviously, violence yesterday. Dr. Christopher Hayner owns Hayner Dental, located downtown, but it won't be here much longer. I'm concerned for myself, my staff, my patients, their safety, getting into the office, leaving the office, um, no matter what time of day it is. What do you want to do about it now? Uh, I'm relocating out of uh, the downtown triangle. Thursday shooting not far from other recent incidents downtown. In October, a 47 year old man was found dead in the alleyway of Maddock Place. And in May of 2022, two men were charged in the shooting death of 18 month old D. Avery Thomas, who was riding in a car near PPG Place. It's just, it's just too much going on right now. What it's, do you mean by that? It's shootings. This is a young, it's the young generation. Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership putting out a statement Nobody today about saying the, I'm about what exactly happened. OK, we have someone here that's very upset about the shooting last night. Uh, we asked him if he wanted to talk to us. He doesn't. He prefers not to. But again, Chris and Mike, the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership saying that the latest gun related incident underscores the urgent need for a focus on public safety. It also added that it will continue to advocate for increased police presence in downtown. We're reporting live downtown tonight. Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News.